Squeeze the latch on the cam handle until it releases. And then open the cam handle to the right to release a controller canister from the shelf. Using two hands to grasp the cam handles, slide the controller canister out of the shelf. Turn the controller canister over, then place the controller canister on a flat static free surface. Remove the controller canister's cover by pressing down on the bottom and sliding the cover off. Confirm that the green LED inside the controller is off. You must wait for this LED to go off before removing any components. Unlatch the battery by pushing the release latch down and away from the controller canister. Lift up the battery and slide it out of the controller canister. If the controller canister includes a host interface card, you must remove the host interface card from the original controller canister so you can reuse it in the new controller canister. Using a number one Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws that attach the host interface card faceplate to the controller canister. Using your fingers or a Phillips screwdriver, loosen the three thumb screws that secure the host interface card to the controller card. Carefully detach the host interface card from the controller card by lifting the card up and sliding it back. The controller is ready for the replacement.